What's good? It's Kyle from Trust the Process. Thank you for tuning into this video. Much like Toronto's lost river system, as Ryan is going to beautifully explain, we may or may not have lost some footage from this interview. So while it may not be the experience you're expecting, there's still a whole lot of fire waiting for you right now. So shout out to Ryan, the TO Play team one time, and enjoy. You know how it is, man. Thank you for coming through. I thought you were just ca I thought you were just cutting my bad. I'll, I want to say bye. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so you know, to play, uh, long story short, it is a game for social impact. And what that means is that where most games is are just about you know entertaining yourself, um, this one is about enacting a sort of social or environmental good. In this case, it all really stemmed from our creative director Ria Kapoor. She had come to learn about these lost rivers that are underneath our city, as well as hundreds of other cities. Because cities they would form around sources of fresh water, right? And when she realized that we had all of these rivers that were sort of buried and forgotten, that sort of sparked uh, an interest in creating a form of entertainment or a piece that would sort of highlight that and make people aware of that. Do you think that video games as a medium is often overlooked when it comes to these types of social issues? Do, do you think enough people are turning to video games or do you think it's, oh, you know, it's a video game, you know, they just shooting bad guys. What do you think the landscape is like right now? That's a fantastic question. The landscape is shifting huge. Um, you know, where most people were doing their social activism through things like documentaries, yeah. right? And, you know, talk shows, right? Yeah. Um, games and, you know, other interactive experiences, VR, XR, AR, these sort of things, that idea of putting people into the space and getting their hands on it yeah. is, is blowing up and it's been blowing up for the past few years and it's only getting like crazier and wilder yeah. you know it also lines up with our demographics where we've seen that you know young people more and more are playing video games yeah you know, even people that you know used to not right yeah so you know that push to have people engage like directly instead of a more maybe passive medium mm -hmm. really helps to sort of drive those social issues yeah. and you know mess around and experiment with various things. So, you know, I think, you know, it's definitely shifting that way. And, yeah. uh, you know, I can't wait to see what people are doing next. You know, there, there's a lot of great ideas people do have, but I think the one thing I see most often, and not to say I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm good at it yet. I'm still figuring this, this shit out, you know. Um, I think it's the ability to say, go up to somebody and say, hey, this is what, this is my idea. And to be able to explain it in a very simple manner, but in a way that, everyone can understand the complexity. And I think you're doing that very, very well. Thank you. Um, not just now, but uh, for that pitch video, because watching it, I was like, I know exactly what this is. Right, yeah. But I don't know, you know, like I want to see what it develops into. Absolutely. So. You know, the key to a good pitch is like, you know, you give them enough to like pique their interest, yes. but then you withhold. Because if you just keep talking, they'll get bored, right? Oh, um, um, yeah. But uh, yeah, you know, um, with when it comes to pitching, a lot of people think like, oh, you know, a lot of people struggle with it for yeah. good reason, right? I, I do too. But the key is like, you know, the difference between, you know, your short film coming to life uh, is whether or not you talk about it, really, at the end of the day. So, uh, yeah, you know what, and, and with regards to piquing the interest, what, what do you think I'm going to do with, with this interview? I'm going to be like, oh yeah, I have an award-winning oh, Canadian yeah. video game. There you go. That was featured <laughs> on CBC. Yeah. But if you want to see it, you got to tune in to Trust the Process. You know, that's all I'm going to say. Ah, uh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> but you're dropping a lot of gems, man. Um, Thank you. And I, I like the way you're very humble about your accomplishments. You know, you've done amazing things, you and the team, Rhea, everybody. Um, and I'm really excited to see where this goes. So in that vein, uh, when can we expect to see Maybe not play the game. I, I feel like that's maybe further out, but when can we expect to see a teaser, maybe get a little beta version, you know? Yeah, yeah you know? no, absolutely. Um, you know, if you go ahead and sign up on our website uh, to play.ca, we, we've got like a little insider beta program that yeah. we're gonna hopefully be able to pool together some people for some beta testing. 
but like you can expect to see like at least like a full alpha launch of the build um spring 2022 is when we're looking to make this happen all right spring 2022 i'm booking the month off of uh, oh, April. the whole month <laughs> let's go play this game and see what's up <laughs> um but i have a couple more questions um, sure. because i'm really curious to know about the process i mean stress process of course maybe. yeah <laughs> um, but in your eyes what was the most challenging part uh of going from ideation to where you are now and how did you overcome that absolutely the hardest part for me, hands down, would have to be um, the idea of taking a real world social issue, right? In this case, you know, the idea of Toronto's level of, you know, water related issues, pollution, privatization, um, scarcity, right? Um, and transforming that into an interactive piece of media that is both engaging and makes people want to connect. Right? I mean, it sounds like a lot, but games themselves are problem based, right? You're mm. tasked with in Halo, kill the covenant. Yeah, That's yeah. it, right? Bang, bang, you've got it. Because it's fun to be able to solve things uh, or to you know, work against those problems. But when it comes to things like real life, we're looking for solutions, solution based design versus problem based design, mm -hmm. right? So we need to think of how we can sort of, you know, achieve our goals of getting people invested into the issue in a in a medium that relies on you know conflict and not necessarily looking for a solution yeah but you know driving challenge right yeah absolutely. so it's it's like two dichotomies but luckily the world is full of resources you know we just recently attended a conference called games for change oh, where cool. it's just everybody who's creating games that have some sort of social purpose to them, yeah, right? Yeah. And um, yeah, you know, we've learned a lot about how to sort of stick the two and two together, right? Yeah. Um, but it's been a process and it's been exhausting, but wow. incredibly rewarding. I, I'd love to see more kind of projects taking on this medium because to be honest with you, uh, I've never been much of a gamer, but what you have going here is definitely piquing my interest. I'm very excited for you uh, and the whole team. So um, let us know what's going on with you, where they can follow you guys and keep updated with uh, To Play. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, subscribe to our newsletter, toplay.ca. Uh, follow us on Instagram at t.o.play. And you know, those are the main two plugs. That's pretty much it. Absolutely. Well, Ryan, I, I think we've run out of time, but it's been a pleasure getting to know you and more about your project. Um, and I'm sure everyone's gonna love this as well. So yeah, well, thank you, you know, man. thanks for having me, Kyle. It's absolute pleasure to be on Trust the Process. Absolutely, this is, bro. You know, this, I feel like I peaked. This is it. For oh me. no, no, no! Please, bro. <laughs> if if you get like a little brown dude with like curly hair in the video game, like yeah. maybe getting on the TTC at. Uh, I'm in Markham, so maybe Kennedy Station. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know, you're going to click on him. He's going to be like, oh, man, I'm just listening to Trust the Process right now. <laughs> if you do that, then I will have peaked. The show will be canceled. Like, there's no going for it. <laughs>